Men going their own way. Australia. Old men. Part two. In part one, I covered some basic information that I felt was important. Specifically, the powerful mind segmentation that the media has used and currently uses. In summary, jiggles are memes, in essence, as are logos. So, when you see the big golden arches or hear the words, just do it, you know what brands I'm referring to. The power of the meme, no matter what way, shape or form it comes in, is so great that it etches into the very fabric of your mind leaving files locked away for a very long time until they need to be used again by these same companies. So you hear, oh what a feeling, while a man on your TV screen jumps in the air. Or, in Australia, when you hear the words, witch bank, you know exactly what it is that comes next. So what comes next in your mind? Witch bank? Answer, the Commonwealth Bank. Oh what a feeling, Toyota. Well, how about pedophile? I will get to that real soon. You see, marketing is a strategy. It is usually aimed at the mind like an MK Ultra program using benzyl hydrazine. Only that it's not injected or induced, it is rather received by the senses of sight and hearing, sometimes even taste. Just because you hear the words, which bank, does not mean there has to be an actual brand of bank on the other side. In this case, in your mind. But your mind paints a picture of one specific brand. There are many different banks and brands of banks, but your mind is only drawn to one. So the word pedophile. The word pedophile has been carefully marketed by the media, and especially today by femmes, to automatically draw up an image in your mind that depicts an old man. But pedophiles come in a form of both genders, and in saying that, a pedophile can be of any age. So what is the value of a man? In this case, what is the value of an old man in our society today, and how do men value men? There are many underlying things that can be brought up to be observed, and there is so much to cover, but what will be clearly evident will be the betrayal of men in general. Any man that has any dignity, moral ethics, proper conduct, and is a man for justice will realize that an older man in need of any assistance is worthy of assistance, albeit emotional, physical, or psychological. I would like to bring up two situations. Here in our Western society is one situation where we know that men are used as nothing but drones, utilities, and what have you. We know this all too well. We also know that the shaming techniques targeted at men do not stop at a specific age, but rather carry on till the age of death, which is any number, young, middle or old age. The other situation is in a third world country, which is a war-torn, desperate, malnourished and in need of assistance country. I was watching a video on YouTube a couple of weeks ago which happened to be filmed in Iraq. A helicopter flying real close to the ground dropped off many essential goodies such as water and food as it was moving along. There were hundreds of desperate people that could be observed in this video. When this helicopter landed, many people rushed in towards the helicopter. Around 19 to 20 people desperately jumped on board this heli helicopter to flee the devastating war situation. Most of them were children and women. There was one man, probably in his late 20s or early 30s, and there was one older man, around 80 years old that also boarded this helicopter. When I read the comments in the comments section, this is where the two lines crossed over. The two situations met up in real time, juxtaposed together, if you like, in my mind, and what I read was shocking, yet didn't surprise me. Quote, Why did the man get on board the helicopter? He should have put a lady in his place. He has no respect. Unquote. Why didn't this person state that he could have put a child in his place? Why did it have to be a lady? Another comment said, quote, All right, the old man, that's one thing, but the younger man, what a dog, unquote. Comments such as these that, are, that only a red-pilled man could break down. All right, the old man, that's one thing. Meaning, that's bad, but anyway... 
The situation involving the helicopter was a life and death situation similar to that of the Titanic. And the comments that were spewed onto the YouTube page obviously came from people who were comfortable enough to, have, to at least have internet access, a computer or a mobile phone, and most likely a feminized society. What were the viewers expecting? A little bit more, they would have the helicopter crew just jump out and throw in all the females that they could fit on board. Nobody mentioned the fact that the helicopter crew was all male and that they are putting their own lives in extreme danger to save these people's lives. But why would they? Why would they mention anything positive about males? And why would males even say anything positive about males as well? The life in our life is non-existent. We are already dead. What have we got to look forward to? I mean, we are all going to be old men. We are going to be stepping up towards a different zone of this rape culture. A different zone. This zone called the pedophile zone. Our self-esteem has been stripped away from us before we even had it with us. Without any facts or evidence, he is a rapist. Get him, boys. Without any facts or evidence, he is a killer. Get him, boys. Without any facts or evidence, he is a pedophile. Get him, boys. And today, with widespread feminism, it's the female calling the shots. Get him, boys. No facts or evidence, just prejudice. Get him, boys. That old man that they say is a pedophile without any facts or evidence is you. We won't stay young forever. You have already been framed. Respect has been thrown out of the window. Maybe respect for men was non-existent anyways. But we, in the past, only had the impression that people respected older men. Just so that these femmes earn brownie points within their traditional relationships of the past. Men, young or old, are not pedophiles, killers or rapists. Rather, there are females and males that happen to fit this sick criteria. Just like not all banks are the Commonwealth Bank. But what these government and feminized media have done is create jackets that can fit different aged males with different labels. As men, our lives have been put into the complete control of a mindset that is sick, demented and twisted, thereby deeming us as obsolete, disposal and worthless. From the cradle to the grave, legislation and brainwashing has got us by the balls to provide, protect and to serve. But serve who? We are not doing any men a service. So who are we serving? Children. Which children? The male children. But male children will grow up as well and become men. Therefore, we can't be serving them. So who are we serving? We are serving females and females only. Men need to wake up from their sleep and start respecting other men, teaching other men about the best form of disciplining a culture that could only be lab labelled as Frankenstein's sister. As a collective, men going their own way will show this scum of a society with the gentleness, peaceful, yet firm and powerful techniques where their betrayal of men has led them, where the individual men just turn their back and go their own way, or if men opt to help men only. We need to do this, not for them, but for us as men, to protect men, help men, and serve men. We need to start with ourselves first.